So how do you plan your product roadmap? Well, there are no right or wrong answers. There are just some great perspectives. Here is one from Prafal Padar, ex-director of products at 2LX. Let's move forward. First of all, very, very personal, but I don't like the word roadmap at all. And the reason for that is, um, you know, when we say roadmap, uh, it is almost translated into uh, deliveries uh, that a product tech team is supposed to do versus results. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm a big fan of, you know, moving uh, the notion of product tech teams more towards uh, outcomes rather than outputs. Uh, like we really want to focus on driving results uh, versus trying to become this uh, feature factory again in the context of digital uh, product development to say, hey, these are the features that you deliver. I don't, you don't really care about the results. So I think roadmap just throws out that notion. While on the flip side, I do understand it is very much needed uh, in a lot of settings for visibility of what's coming, uh, predictability, and also planning for other functions. You know, when you're dependent uh, for things to get adopted or you need operation support, on the ground work to be done, all of that needs to become more and more visible. The way I look at roadmaps is that, you know, um, and I'll give you an example of how we're doing it at OLX and what some of the things that are working is. We are almost looking at first, you know, planning an entire financial year for ourselves. And financial year planning is mostly around, you know, very hardcore business metric planning. We are saying at the end of FI22, what are the business results that as an organization I want to hit? And these are somewhat sacrosanct, right? The means to get there is where it becomes more and more fluid. Uh, so we're saying, hey, this is what we need to hit. Now, how do we get there? And let me try and break it into chunks of timelines. And you know, with OKR best practices in our environment, quarter works fine. So we say, hey, let's break this entire year into four and four quarters. Obviously, the quarter that is right up, up front that you're going to hit in the next month, you should have a lot of clarity on what you want to build. And where you're saying, hey, within this quarter, how my results are going to ramp up during the uh, last three quarters of the year up to what I want to hit at the end, end of the year. So as you get more and more away from your current time frame, it should become more and more vague in terms of actual deliveries and it should become more clear in terms of quantitative measures. So you're saying, hey, in Q3, I actually want to hit this result. I don't really know how, but I know this could be a theme that I want to do. But in Q1, I want to get to this business result with these particular hypotheses or features or initiatives that I want to do. So that's that's how fundamentally I think roadmap should be built. As you move away, it should become more clearer just on the quantitative, not so much on the actual delivery uh, that, that you're trying to do uh, and just have some themes there. And even if you extend that further to say, hey, I want to actually think of three years down the line. At that point in time, you probably don't even have quantitative. You probably just have a vision where you're saying, hey, this is how I feel the product experience should be for my users three years down the line, which could be super, which could be a collection of a lot of big hypotheses that you put together to say, I really want to imagine this new experience. So that's how I look at roadmap when you're thinking of, you know, building it for a year or a larger time frame in that respect. I think the 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 second uh, input on roadmap, and again, this is going back to what I was saying, is getting people bought in early. Uh, again, product managers, I feel a lot of time operate in silos, and this could be valid for product leaders as well, where they're almost trying to construct this roadmap in isolation to say, hey, this is all I've done. This is how I'm going to deliver all these features to you without taking as much input, buy-in, uh, collective knowledge of all the other functions. I think getting people signed on early and taking feedback very, very critically and openly is really important to building the right vision towards a roadmap, uh, I think is, is really important. And the third, I feel roadmaps, like optically also, you need to work on this really, really carefully. Optically, if you start putting a list of features, that's going to be assumed that those are the things you want to do. Optically, the things should be in black and bold and the largest are the numbers that you want to hit. They should not be the features. Even in the template of the roadmap, in every quarter or in every area, what you're trying to hit really should the focus should be the the results and not how you get those results. Prafil is also a contributor on the FWD app, sharing his experience, his insights with several product managers. Go ahead and download the app and upskill yourself. See you soon.